Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Mark, chapter 3, verses 7 to 12. Jesus withdrew toward the sea with his disciples. A large number of people followed from Galilee and from Judea. Hearing what he was doing, a large number of people came to him also from Jerusalem, from Idumea, from beyond the Jordan, and from the neighborhood of Tyre and Sidon. He told his disciples to have a boat ready for him because of the crowd, so that they would not crush him. He had cured many, and as a result, those who had diseases were pressing upon him to touch him. And whenever unclean spirits saw him, they would fall down before him and shout, You are the Son of God. He warned them sternly not to make him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the life of St. Agnes, virgin and martyr. She was born around the end of the 3rd century to a wealthy family and was known and admired for her beauty, which attracted many suitors. However, her intentions were not to be married, rather to devote herself wholly to God. Her dedication to her faith and God was absolute, so much so that it angered one particular would-be suitor that he, with malicious intent, exposed her as a Christian, which eventually led to St. Agnes' imprisonment and execution. And just like how the unclean spirits were powerless in the presence of Christ, those with impure intent were powerless to corrupt St. Agnes even under the threat of death. So looking to St. Agnes as inspiration, let us too find strength in retaining our God-given dignity and purity of heart under corrosion and pressure that leads us away from God's purpose for us. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and pure day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.